Now we have had another roller coaster year with ups and downs and lots of emotions. And this morning we are discussing the importance of expressing our emotions and how music can help us do so with Nikki Bush, human potential and parenting expert. Good morning, Nikki. Good morning, Zoe. I'm very excited for this topic because I'll be the first to admit I come from a family where we don't really express our emotions that well and it's only now in my adulthood that I'm making a conscious effort to do that. But I wanted to know from you, why is it so important for us to access our emotions? Zoe, we have so many emotions and emotions are not good or bad, uh, but stuck emotions become really toxic in our systems. And in fact, there is a sign above the Institute for Psychiatry in London, and the sign says, tears are a vent for the soul. And I think we should really think about that. Tears are a vent for the soul. Now, personally, I'm not somebody who knows where her cry button is. I don't cry at the drop of a hat. And when I do cry, I always go, oh, wow, that felt so good. You know, a good cry is almost as good as one of those um, hysterical laughter sessions where you cry with laughter because we can sort of detoxify and cleanse ourselves and let that emotion run through us as opposed to getting stuck within us. And we must remember that emotions are not just in your heart. They're not just in your head. They're actually in every cell of your body. So when you have trapped emotions, you can get headaches, you can get neck aches, tense shoulders, a tummy ache, a runny tummy. You know, think of all of those things. There's so many um, emotions that will be expressed through your body if you don't actually acknowledge them, talk about them, or express them in a healthy way. And that's what I've realized. I mean, I, I, like I say, I come from a family where, you know, you sometimes sweep the emotions under the rug, but I feel like it's important to address these issues. In fact, not necessarily issues, but just the emotions. Now, Nikki, I love music. I work in radio. I always say sometimes for someone like myself, I can't always express myself. The music does the talking for me. Now, how can music help us to access our emotions? I think music is just the most amazing way to access our emotions. And I want our viewers to think about watching a movie scene when there's no music, when there's no sound. So switch off the sound and watch a movie scene and then switch the sound back on with the music and you get an entirely different experience. It makes all the difference to how you feel. Music seems to connect you um, wherever you find yourself in your life at the moment, helping you to process how you're feeling. And so, you know, those stuck emotions, as I said, are toxic. And if they back up in your system, then they have the potential to sabotage you. So think about being at work and you're all highly strung because you're feeling something that you can't express. Sometimes what happens is you become reactive and it overflows into the workplace or into your, your family. So, you know, there are, there are moments when we face challenges and we need to be brave. And this might be because maybe at work there's a negotiation that we're involved in, or maybe you're kicking off a new project, or maybe you're in the first day of a new job. You know, that's pretty stressful. And when I'm getting ready for a day like that, I like to listen to stirring music. And um, it's pretty much a part of my morning ritual, actually, to choose an anthem for the day. When I wake up and I have my shower in the morning, I usually put music on and it's always different. Every single day, what I choose is different. I'm not sure if what you choose every day would be different. And so, and, and that's, it's the words, it's the melody. Um, if I am feeling sad, but I can't cry, just watch Gladiator. And for me, that Gladiator soundtrack will take me to that, shall we say, dark place of my sadness. And I can cry for two hours after watching Gladiator, but when I finish crying, I feel so much better. Oh, most definitely. Well, I am enjoying this conversation. Nikki Bush, please don't go anywhere because we have more to unpack with you. And we will be continuing this conversation with Nikki in just a bit on how we can use music to help with our emotions. So stay with us on your Feel Good Breakfast Show. It's my Feel Good Breakfast Show. 
Now, we've been discussing the importance of expressing our emotions and how music can help us to do so with human potential and parenting expert Nikki Bush. Well, we are continuing that conversation right now. Nikki, I'm one of those people, I, you know, my emotions are either happy or sad, but there are so many in between. How can we navigate and be able to express exactly how we feel? Well, you raised this, a really important point that there are so many emotions in between. You know, we often think of happiness and sadness, but look at this. This is the feelings wheel. You can just Google the feelings wheel and print one out for yourself. And in the center here, we have the basic emotions, which are things like fearful, angry, disgusted, sad, happy, and surprised. But each of them then gets divided further. And each of those then gets divided further again. So there are literally hundreds of emotions here. And it's really good to get specific. So, you know, if you're feeling um, angry, for example, you might be feeling let down or humiliated or bitter or mad or aggressive, frustrated, distant or critical. Look at how many. And then those get divided yet again. So let's get specific about how we really feel. And I know music can help with that. So Nikki, what activities can we do around music to help us access all these different layers of our emotions? Well, let's think of the fun ones, for example. And it could be when you're taking your kids to school and you might have a little lift club with other kids. And I just remember with my own kids, there would be like a song of the month almost, you know, whatever was on the top of the pops. And right now, I think that baby shark <laughs> is still one of those songs. It's going to stay <laughs> around for a while. Use it then on YouTube. But yes, singing something like Baby Shark do 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 on the way to school just changes the energy in the car. And let's think at this time of the year of Christmas carols. Mm. You know, that's very uplifting. I was even playing them in my office the other day just to get me into the spirit of Christmas. I love Christmas carols. I really do. And if you need something stirring, like you've got a big project you're starting on, or even just to get through the last couple of weeks of December, for me, musicals like uh, Les Miserables, mm. that, that um, do you hear the people sing? Um, and, and it's just so stirring. And then something that would be um, stirring and emotional would be something like the theme song from The Last of the Mohicans. So go on to YouTube. You can literally listen to anything you like. Just, you know, put something into the search bar and see what comes up. It's just such fun. And if you want something pretty, that um, to celebrate the beauty of life and the good things that have happened in the year, that Forrest Gump suite from the movie Forrest Gump, where that little feather is floating down through the air, is the most beautiful soundtrack in the world. I think it kind of symbolizes an entire lifetime. It's just so beautiful. And it can take you on such a journey, even if you, if the, your favorite movie, if you go and listen to the soundtrack of that favorite movie, it will also take you through all of the emotions. And I, I need to go re-listen to the Forrest Gump one. So thank you for that, Nikki. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's really beautiful. I'd love for our listeners to, you know, get onto Facebook and tell us what their favorite tunes are when they get up, get up in the morning. What helps them to get up and go? Oh, well, we are definitely asking that question on social media. So please let us know and don't forget that hashtag Expresso Show. That was Nikki Bush sharing her expert advice on a very, very important topic. That's on music helping us to process all of our emotions.